Hello and welcome back to the Greenhorn Photo Taker. I have exciting news. I have a new camera and I went full frame for the first time. So yeah, uh, it's probably been about three weeks and I have the Sony a7 IV, which I have grown to immediately love at least for sports photography. So my daughter plays high school basketball, um, and that was the original, um, you know, reasoning for going for the upgrade. My A6600 low light performance just does not work inside of uh, high school gymnasiums. And what I found was I was having to use a 2.850, I guess the Sigma 18 to 50, inside a gym um, in order to get my exposure correct um, and not have too much noise but a 50 millimeter lens for sports photography just it just doesn't work and whenever I would try to put on my uh, 70 to 350 uh, telephoto um, you know that apertures you know five to six range um, it just wouldn't work and um, and I found myself finally reaching a limit where my skills um, exceeded the capabilities of a camera. So I went out and got the Sony a7 IV and gosh, for indoor um, sports photography, it made an amazing difference, literally immediately. And some of the shots I got from this camera, I know I'm a rookie at sports photography, <laughs> They are absolutely wonderful, um, and the team went on to win um, a state sectional title in New Jersey, and it was just an amazing moment, um, both for the girls and for me as a photographer, because the photos had so much meaning uh, for me in the moment, and I was so glad that I made the upgrade. But why I'm here today, I I've not taken this out in the field yet. I wanted to try to get some waterfall shots, but I didn't feel like hiking today. And so many of the roads in Stokes and the Delaware Water Gap are still closed uh, for the winter. So I'm here at the Delaware River, um, and I figured I'd just take a walk down and see if there was anything exciting to shoot. The odds are there will not be, um, but I do want to at least try to get this camera out into the field and see what I can do with it. Um, so that's the goal today, is to just put this camera through its paces a bit, have a little fun. It's a little breezy and cold. Um, yeah, it's about 39 degrees, um, and I'm over in Layton, New Jersey. All right, let's get going. So I am just along Old Mine Road, and I've been to various sections of the river along this stretch of road, but never to this one exact spot. So we'll learn together what we see. Um, hopefully the shore is not too muddy. Um, we're coming off pretty heavy rains and the river looks pretty full, but it is clear of debris, which is always good to see. Um, sometimes it's got that muddy gross look, but we're gonna find out. So again, using the old A6600, the widest lens I had was the Sigma 16 mil, which is really equivalent to about 24 mil on full frame. But I have a 16 mil lens now with me. So I'm very interested to see um, what I can do with such a wide ranging or such a wide angle lens. Um, I'm sure I'll make some mistakes there too. Whoa, it is muddy. What's the best way to go down here? And this was unplanned. So I have um, a low camera battery and a low GoPro battery. <laughs> so this is not exactly what I would call a scenic day or a scenic location. Um, in fact, it looks pretty awful. But like I said, this is more of about a field test than to capturing anything portfolio wise. Now I am looking down there and I see some, you won't see it on the GoPro, so I won't even turn it around. Some of that wonderful red brush with some white, looks like a birch tree sticking out of it. That might be something to try in a moment. 
But I'm gonna get out the tripod and maybe focus. Gosh, this is ugly. You know what? I'm not gonna take out the tripod. I don't know what a field test would prove in this location. Let's go back to the car and um, drive down the road a little bit and see if I can spot a pullout where I can get to those white birch trees with uh, some nice shades of red undergrowth. So that ended up a bit of a bust. The access was via private land. So I could not get near a location for the shot I wanted. But um, as I kept driving, I did notice at the corner of my eye, this flooded low entry point. Maybe it's a small pond that has excess water in it from the rain and snow. Um, and I wanna see if I can capture some of the trunks coming out of the water. Now, I am no outdoorsman, but I can safely say this area of water is likely caused by a beaver dam somewhere in the vicinity. So here's what I'm looking at. I think I want something low angle out into this area of water where I can get as many trunks um, clean as possible. By clean I mean not crossing, standing straight up in the water. Now there's a lot, I mean there's a ton of trunks and they that may not be entirely possible but I still like to give that a try. Oh I was ready to proclaim that perhaps today was the day I graduate from greenhorn photography to verified amateur enthusiast photography but that is not going to happen because I forgot my tripod mount and therefore cannot use my tripod so I will continue to take some handheld I've been doing that for about I don't know half hour now and uh, I'll post the pictures but they are handheld and not what I was looking for today. It's raining out. I quickly realized that without my tripod, my heart just wasn't in it. So I packed up, headed for home, and decided to go out the next day. The following day, I headed back to the Delaware Water Gap, this time to McDade Trail near Milford, Pennsylvania, to try to take two time lapses of a gorgeous sky. The clouds were rushing in from above the ridge line of Cliff Park and streaming out towards the Delaware River. I relaxed, I took a little nap for a while, and a few hours later came out with just an okay time lapse. Already there was the dreaded Sony sensor dust getting in the way of my final result, and my composition, frankly, was a little weak. I do have to get used to a wide angle lens. Overall, the two days, while not a success from a portfolio photo standpoint, I did thoroughly enjoy using the A7 IV in the woods for the first time, and I can't wait to see what else I can capture with it. Thanks for watching. Get out and explore.